Hello and welcome to Alfie the Lobster channel. Hello and welcome to Alfie the Lobster. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I've tried to add a little bit of humor to the channel. That's hence the introduction and also the lobster. But sometimes uh, architecture is so well done and you just can't be funny about it. You have to try and give people the real experience. So stay tuned for a nice walkthrough with no commentary. This particular episode is about Luke Khan, who, whose house I posted about in my first video, episode one. Most of his houses contain what I call a tree cave metaphor. And today I want to feature another one of his works, which is the Kimball Art Museum. I visited this building and as you can see, it's kind of a cave metaphor. So what makes this building so great is that it's very, very subtle as compared to some of the other architecture Texts who have tried to come up with an organic solution, of which uh, I'll mention some one later. But uh, the work is so subtle that I hopefully the uh, the video will capture and let you know what's going on with the experience. I'll give you some highlights to look for as you walk through the video. So the house I showed you earlier has tree-like forms involved with it, and also uses the organic principles of sight. I discovered that I wanted to do this. Kind of organic design in 1992 when I was at Columbia. Frank Lloyd Wright, as I've already covered in one of my other videos, which would be episode three, used the organic form and I covered at the end of that the Sun Top Homes in Ardmore. You can see from the exterior it sort of has a feeling of a cave or and in the interior it sort of has a feeling of a nice tree, especially because of the view to the natural habitat. Also, some of the horizontality tends to give the feeling of life, like the horizontal branches of a tree. When you go to see falling water, it's like the stacked rocks, and in fact on the interior, he actually brings some of the natural rocks into the inside of the house. Many modern architects do stuff now that sort of looks like modern, or looks like organic form, Frank Geary being one of them. Here you see a building that has all the curves and sort of randomness of nature calls this one Fred and Ginger and this is the opera house in uh, for Disney which was featured in Iron Man but I really don't see this as being truly organic I think that could be anywhere another modern organic type designer would be Zaha Hadid she's passed unfortunately this is her Vitra firehouse which you can see the sort of metaphor for a tree at the entryway and of course the massiveness of the back as a cave I don't know if that's intentional she was always a great uh, compositionalist Later on, somebody else took over her firm and they had built the, the designs changed a lot, but still organic and curved. So this was my, did my work seven years before Geary started doing his organic work, but nobody was crazy enough to let me do that kind of stuff. So the way that I kept organic stuff in my forms, other than the fact that you can see the entryway looks like a tree and hopefully the, the cave on the other side, I also used uh, fractal geometry and the Fibonacci series to try and maintain that in my buildings. So let me get to the building that we're really having here in question and give a quick summary of some of the things you should look for in the walkthrough. You're led into what would be the cave, but there's also a notion of separation and change of reality that he creates by having water that blocks out any sound of traffic and trees, as well as a rough pebble gravel that you walk through in order to get through to the front door. This creates a feeling of total separation from the natural world and entering of the cave. The strength of the structure and the beautiful marble backing is meant to emphasize the paintings and not take away from them. It's punctuated by randomly placed courtyards so it's not just a continuous series of, of vaults. And the special thing about this is that all those vaults that you saw on the exterior are totally split down the middle and have a beautiful light deflector that creates a soft light that doesn't damage the art and gives you a natural flow. You'll see in some of the, in some of the video that uh, you can watch the sun pass through the space using, uh, using lapse time photography. I hope you enjoy and I'm just going to be quiet now because the video is going to start and hopefully see you again on the Laffy the Lobster.
breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law.